Hi everybody! Washes machine's motor may be useful for making many interesting tools such as knife sharpener, circular saws, drill presses and also electricity generator. Old washes machine's motors are asynchronous motor but the new ones are universal motors. Before using these motors to make something, we must know first how to plug it. In this video, we will see together how to plug and restore an old washing machine motor. This motor is an asynchronous one. It can turn in both directions. It can turn at low speed for washing, about 500 revolution per minute and also at high speed for spinning about 2500 revolution per minute so there is a special electricity connection for each direction and each speed the first one yellow it's the ground wire the white wire is the common it's called the common because it's common with all the other wires the gray and the black wires are for the low speed coil the red and the blue wires are for the high speed coil. How can we identify these wires? It's easy. We need just to measure resistance by multimeter. First, we look for the two coils, low speed coil and high speed coil. As you know, the first one has a higher resistance than the second. When we measure resistance between black and gray wire, we get 68 ohms. Now we measure resistance between blue and red wire, and we get 43 ohms, which is smaller than the first resistance. So black and gray wires are for the low speed coil. Red and blue are for the high speed coil. And the last wire, the white, is the common. To check the resistance between the common and the low speed wires must be equal. However, the resistance between the common and the high speed wires shouldn't be equal. Because this kind of motor is designed to run in one direction at high speed resistance between the common wire and one of the two wires show us the efficient electricity connecting way. Between the white and the blue one we get 33 ohms and between the white and the red we get 10.8 ohms. So, we use the white and the blue for the high speed, and the red one, we use it to have the motor to start. That's what we will see soon. So, the white is the common, white and the black for the low speed, white and gray for the low speed, but for the opposite direction, white and blue for the high speed, and the red one is for start. Now we will connect the engine according to the colors determined. Connecting the white and gray one for the low speed. Now we reverse the direction of rotation by connecting the black wire instead of the gray one. For the high speed, we must connect the common and the blue. The motor turned faster, but less than 2500 revolution per minute. We also note that it's difficult to start and it must be helped by a small push on its arm. The automatic start of the motor K1 
can be done by connecting a capacitor according to this diagram. As you can see, the motor starts instantly and its speed is much better. The red wire and the capacitor are very important for the motor's start and to improve its speed. Thank you for watching and see you soon.